Today, I'm going to be talking about something called kidney yin deficiency. So I'm going to tell you what it is, how you get it, and what to do about it. What it is? Well, the symptoms really are pretty commonly backache, uh, often sweating at night in your sleep, dry mouth, um, dry throat as well, uh, urine which tends to be dark. You may have tinnitus, noises in your ears. Uh, there's tiredness, uh, there's dizziness, possibly faintness. Uh, your hearing's not very good and you have a sort of prolonged tendency to exhaustion. May well be some insomnia. Your stools tend to be dry, you tend to be constipated. Your pulse tends to be a little bit faster maybe than usual. So that's what its symptoms are. Those are the main ones which usually turn up for people who have kidney yin deficiency. How do you get this? Well, it often comes from some kind of long-term fluid loss. Mind you, that fluid loss could be quick. It could have come from a fever or series of fevers, but there's fluid loss. So that's the first reason. Second reason is chronic disease. It's really taken it out of you. If you had an illness which has really drained you, even if it's not from high fevers, but just draining illness, which has gone on and on, then um, that's a cause of getting kidney yin deficiency too. Another one's quite different. This one is overstimulation. Now, if you take 10 coffees a day or you take drugs which speed you up all the time, your body's ability to slow itself down will be depleted and that's your kidney yin deficiency, which is gone. Another one is overwork. If you overwork, now by this, it's more commonly um, mental overwork. So working long hours, uh, taking work home with you all the time, sitting in front of your computer day and night, could be physical overwork, but more likely it's mental overwork. And another cause is, I'm sorry to say men, too much sex. Too much sex will drain you. Now, it does apply to women too, but it's slightly uh, harder to explain how they get it. But if they had a whole lot of babies very close together, or they had an exhausting, uh, very heavy periods, uh, very commonly, then they could end up with this too. So there are ways in which both men and women can get it, but for men it's more obvious. And usually, um, if they had too much sex too often, um, they'll feel really tired and they'll get kidney deficiency and they'll get the tinnitus and the tiredness and the dizziness and all the rest of it that I mentioned. So what to do about it? Well, first of all, you've got to address the cause. If you are perhaps suffering from fluid loss, then maybe you should do something to prevent that. Uh, taking more fluid might be a way forward for you. Um, there are ways to do this which are better and easier for your system uh, than other ones. Drinking lots of water or fluid probably is not the single best way of doing it. You should be eating more uh, food which contains moisture in it. Um, we've got a recommendation for something called Clogston Congee on our website. And that contains a high percentage of water which your body absorbs gradually as it digests the food and therefore doesn't swill on down straight off to your kidneys and your urine to pee out. Um, but fluid loss, as I say, is one of the main causes from this. Um, another one, of course, is overstimulation, in which case you know what to do. Don't take the drugs or the coffee in the quantity which you're taking it. Um, then the sleep. Very important. If you have kidney yin deficiency, you really need more rest, preferably good quality sleep. Might be that you need to take naps during the day to recover yourself, but it's good quality rest and sleep that makes a difference long term. Uh, you may find it easy or helpful to meditate, to slow your mind down. Probably not a good uh, idea to uh, exercise competitively because that's exhausting you. And in fact, any kind of stress will tend to exhaust you as well. So you've got to deal with that kind of a competitive, stressful lifestyle as well. Diet comes into it and there's something called the five phase theory, which is a big issue in Chinese medicine, can also be part of it. So there I've told you what it is, how you get it and what to do about it. So if you've got kidney deficiency, I hope that's helped. We've got a big page on it, tells you lots on our website. Thanks for listening. Thank you.